think that is much better, family. I hope you guys can see me. I hope you guys can see me good. How you guys doing? Happy Friday, happy Friday, happy Friday. Pray and hope all is well with everyone. It's been a minute since I've been on Tea or Tequila Conversations with Toya. Let's see what we got going on here. Ah, yes, that looks so much better. Much better. How you guys doing? All right, all right. Hey, Z, how are you? Hey, Tommy. How are you, Tommy? Praying, hope all is well. Think my live is frozen. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on, guys. Technical difficulties. I do apologize. Technical difficulties. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think you guys can see me good now. How you guys doing? Praying hope all is well. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I don't know what's going on, guys. Okay. Got it. How you guys doing? Hit me up. Listen, listen. What's up? Hey, Jacqueline. Hey, Carter. Carter, how are you? How's the family? Hey, Miss Renee Brown, how are you? I am back. Your girl Toya T or Tequila Conversations with Toya. It's been a minute since I've been up here with you guys on my own show. Um, pray and hope all is well with you guys. I just wanted to come to you this evening just to see how you guys were doing and see what was going on with you and how things have been going with you with this last seven months. It's been seven months since I've done tea or tequila conversations with Toya. A lot has been going on, you know, um, a lot of good things, uh, a lot of great things have been going on. Let me say that, but shout out to you guys for tuning in tonight. On Tia Tequila Conversations with Toya. Just wanted to talk to you guys about little things that I'm doing and seeing how you guys been doing uh, via COVID. Shout out to my girl, Vanessa Adamas, who uh, blessed me with some coquito tonight to drink on the show. And it is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's really, really good. It goes down smooth. It tastes smooth. Has the right uh, amount of liquor in it. So, um... Yes, definitely. So guys, what's been going on with you? How have you been uh, during this pandemic season that we are in right now? I hope everybody's been doing okay and taking everybody, every precaution that they need to take for um, this season that we are in and uh, the season to come. Hope all is well, Jacqueline. Please give Carter my love. Tell Carter I did not forget about him. When I get some time, I'm definitely going to come and see him and see what's going on. For you guys, you know, that don't know, I've been doing a lot of things. I um, recently was released from my job working at Imagine Me Leadership Charter School. I was a parent coordinator there for about eight years. And um, they released me and I, I'm okay with the release, you know. It wasn't a bad thing. You know, people think when they lose a job or when they're released from a job that, you know, life is no more. But actually, life has really been an amazing ride for me. God has showed up and showed out as he always do. I started my own business. I am a, um, I buy beauty. That is my company's name. And, you know, I'm a makeup artist, certified makeup artist, but I'm also a certified nail tech. And I've been doing a lot of things, a lot of new clients. I'm learning a lot of techniques with nails and taking care of our health and our beauty, which is an amazing thing. I just completed my first movie. Go me. My eye for the movie is on YouTube. Um, it is amazing production that St. Paul Community Baptist Church does every year. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out at um, on YouTube at St. Paul SBCBC. BKNY27, or is it 1927? One of the two. Somebody will put it up for me. And um, just completed that. And I also joined, hey Vic, how are you? I also joined um, another podcast called Him, Me, You, Her. Shout out to Vic, Tay, and Mo. Big shout outs to them. I joined them about two, uh, about what, like about four or five weeks ago. 
Um, I was asked to be on the show as a co-host and it is an amazing thing. Of course, we got to, you know, get to know each other on a different level, but it is an amazing, amazing, amazing journey that I'm on and I'm super happy, you know, for that. Um, hey, Aisha, how are you, sis? Pray and hope all is well. Hey, Vic, how are you? Trying to get all my people in. Thank you. Thank you so much, Renee. Hey, Vanessa, I just shouted you out. Um, Vic, Vanessa Adama, she made me some coquito, so we got to... um. Get some coquito up there. Hey, Miss Deb, how are you, beautiful? Pray and hope all is well with you. How um, hope you've been doing okay during this season. I know this season has been real difficult for a lot of people, and this is why I just wanted to come up here and show my face, and let's just talk about some things. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Renee. I truly appreciate you for that. Vanessa, this is on point. I got to get you. I got to... Uh, get a bottle for you. You know, I make my own coquito, but I don't mind, you know, patronizing the sister and buying from you. This is pretty good. Pretty good, guys. Y'all got to try out a coquito. Um, so what's really been going on? I hope you guys have really, you know, take in some lessons with um, this COVID season. You know, we, if you haven't really tapped into your gifts and talents or did self-care and self-love for yourself, You've really missed out on a lot. Um, this COVID season has been uh, real difficult and different for a lot of people. Um, I know for myself, I lost my mentor back in June and um, it was due to COVID and it really devastated me. Um, and in saying all of that, I lost my mentor, uh, my prayer intercessor, Willette Robeson. Everyone who knows her knows she was near and dear to my heart. And then God has blessed me with my granddaughter. And uh, yeah, I have a granddaughter. She's three months old. She's going to come out and make her debut on Tia to Kill a Conversation with Toy with me for a second. Uh, oh, she said it's her family recipe. I have my own little recipe, Vanessa, but this is this is pretty good. Yes, I don't need the recipe. I just, I just want to buy it from you. So this is amazing. Keep up the great work. She is an amazing uh, person. She is an amazing baker. She uh, makes uh, cakes and cookies and pastries and things of that nature. And she's really tapping into her gifts and talents. And I pray that everyone else is really tapping into their gifts and talents this season because it is um, something that we really need to do and we need to support each other's Black-owned businesses. As you see, in honor of Brother George Floyd, I have on a shirt that says 846. And of course, those who know, know that eight minutes and 46 seconds was the amount of time that the officer had his knee on this gentleman's neck. So this is why I was blessed with this shirt by one of my clients, who's also a sister friend of mine. Her name is Genova Rodriguez. And she bought me, she had on the shirt and I loved it. It was like, I was in such an awe when I seen the shirt and I just looked at it and stared and got chills. And she blessed me with this shirt and she also blessed me with a hoodie that said, Dear Friend, from a company, Black Owns. Uh, two gentlemen make hoodies, shirts, and it says, um, Dear Friends. J yeah, Dear Friend, either Just Friend or no, it's Dear Friend. Uh, DF, it's Dear Friend. And um, we got to support our own. We really have to um, try to keep our money rotating in our communities as much as possible. So I pray and hope that you guys have been doing um, that as well. Um, talk to me, guys. What's going on? Hey, Belia, I miss you too. You got to make an appointment. Ah, uh, you've been blessed to speak the message. You go. Thank you so much, Ruben. Uncle Ruben, I appreciate you. I love you so much. I love you dearly. Um, anybody who knows, Uncle Ruben is my mentor, my auntie, Willette's brother. And, um, you know, we've always had a great relationship, but our relationship now has gone grown closer. I check in on him as much as I possibly can, as well as he checks in on me, because this is a rough time for all of us, and it's going to be a long time before we actually get it together. So I just pray and hope all is well with you, Uncle Ruben. Thank you so much for tuning in, and everyone else who actually tunes in tonight. I appreciate you guys. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I'm not going to be before you too long. I just wanted to come on and just give you kind of a gist of what Tia Tequila this season will be like we will be on every other Friday at 7:45. Hopefully I'll have a few co-hosts that will join me on the conversations next Friday and um it may be some repeat offenders that you've seen before, so hopefully we'll see them again and um we'll take it from there. Um 
what has this season done for you, whether it's positive or negative? Um, I want to hear from you. Like, chime in, guys. Let me know what this season has done for you. I know for me, it's made me more humble than I've ever been before. Um, it's made me think about things before I speak. You know, I have a very boisterous uh, voice and very bold and um, straight to the point. And um, I had to learn to listen, to understand, and not listen to respond and try to have a lot more conversations without having confrontations. Um, sometimes I know uh, we as people, we like to respond and um, without listening. And before we even think, before we speak, we just blurt out um, certain things. And it may not be always the best you know, after the fact. So I've learned to just shut down and just let me just remove myself from the situation before it goes left. Um, I'm still a work in progress with that, but we'll taking it, you know, day by day and doing that. Um, I want to talk to you about that. Yeah, like what have you been doing, um, during this season and, um, how are you preparing? And if you are preparing, because they said we're going to get another wave of COVID, and um, I just want to know how you guys are preparing for that. Or have you even thought about being prepared? I know for me, every time I go out to the store, I'm picking up something, whether it's for my household or for my parents' household, because we just don't know what will happen. And I can't see myself this go round waiting on a line to get into the store to see if they have any cleaning products where they're um, price gouging, which is crazy. Um... Yeah. Hey, hey, Tiana, how are you? Yes, camera. Yes, skin. Well, thank you. You know, this is my phone. You know how I do, how my setup is. It is the lighting. It is my phone. I clinked the lens on my phone. So it looks radiant. And yes, the skin I'm trying, even though I'm not really going places, I still try to self-care, keep my skin hydrated and keep doing what I'm doing and keep it, keep it going. We stack that over here. Yeah, listen, Vic, me too. If I show you my arsenal of stuff that I have, I have like four cans of Lysol that I paid regular price for. I have two cans of, um, what is that, Microban. I have another generic um, disinfectant spray. I have uh, Lysol wipes, Clorox wipes. That's what I have. Four, four big things. Uh, the Clorox wipes, I have generic wipes, I have alcohol wipes, I bought a gallon of alcohol, I have ammonia, I have Odaban over there. If I show you my Arsenal Vic, you'll be like, girl, bye. And I'm still buying more stuff because you just never know. You know, you never know. We weren't prepared for the first wave because we didn't know what to prepare for. But now that we know, I think that everyone should just stack up water, do your food shopping on a regular basis. Make sure you're sanitizing. And what I do every morning, whether you do it or not, I kind of spray my house with ammonia and water. I get a, a spray bottle. I put one cup of ammonia in there. I do lemon scent ammonia and the rest water. And I spray the air just to cleanse the air. And then I also um, sage, you know, try to purify the air to keep the energy going. Hey, Johnson, how are you? Lysol and microband. Be at Home Depot and shop right 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. to the early shoppers. Thank you, Ian. Listen, I have Ian Lynn on here. You know, I'm really all about supporting. I have Tiana Logan on here. I'm also here for to support. Tiana Logan is a sister of mine. She has an organization called Monette Closet. She does a prom drive every year. Um, she's in, I don't know how many states, but she's all over and she's international. And she started doing um, glam sessions and she's hired me to do glam sessions with her. She's a dope sister. If you have any prom dresses or even suits, gentlemen, please hit me up, hit her up and we can talk about some things. I'll pick them up from you. You can drop them off to me so we can actually support this sister here. Ian Lynn on here. This one of my brothers. Oh my gosh. You see these bracelets I have on here? This gentleman rocks these bracelets. He is amazing with these bracelets. I done bought about maybe eight bracelets from him. I have another sister that I buy bracelets from, Anissa Strong. And we have to support each other. We have to support each other. Definitely. Home Depot had HDX aerosol stacked out there for per customer this morning. So listen. Home Depot, ShopRite, get out there early in the morning and do what you do. Hey, honey, you need a Thanksgiving meal. 
um, come see me next month. Listen, you know how I do for Thanksgiving. You know, that's one of my favorite holidays. I throw down in here. Um, I think this year my grandmother is coming. You know, um, I lost my grandfather be the beginning of the year. And um, definitely he, um, she has been, you know, in awe, you know, this season. So we're going to come together for her and we'll be here. But I'll definitely come by and see you Um Hey, Tanya. Hey, big sis. How are you? Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm doing my best. Please, I'm doing my best. The airline took all my light sauce out my suitcase. I am pissed coming back home. Oh my God, Deb. I am so sorry they did that to you. That's devastating. You should have shipped it. You would have been better off shipping it. But I'm going to tell you a secret. Um, I got all my light sauce from Family Dollar. I'll um, hit you up on the side and let you know my secret. So if you need some Lysol, I'll give you the tidbit. We can um, discuss this on the side. Hey, Mo, how are you? How pray and hope all is well with you. One of my brothers here from Him, Me, You, Her. I got two of them up here. I got Vic and I got Mo up here. Just trying to do my thing, guys. You, you know how I do. Um, so, yes, I hope you guys are preparing and getting yourself together for this next wave that we're supposed to be having. I hope we don't have it, and I hope it's not as bad as the first wave. But if it is, let's just be prepared on what it is that we're going to do and how we're going to do it. So, Miss Deb, I'm definitely, I see your um, message. I'm definitely going to um, hit you up on the side. I will um, let you know. Inbox me your number. I'm not sure if I have your number, Miss Deb. But inbox me your number so I can call you and let you know the secrets that I that I have. Because I have like four cans of Lysol, no shade over here. I have some Microban and I have the Homeline brand of disinfectant spray. And Odaban. I don't know if you guys know about Odaban. Odaban, you can get that at Home Depot. You get the gallon for $10. It's very concentrated. You can clean and disinfect your whole house with Odaban. And it's $10. Family Dollar Facts. That's right, Ian. Let me tell you, don't sleep on Family Dollar. You know when their trucks come in, then you'll know when to go and what to get. Don't sleep on Family Dollar. I get mine from the 99 cent store. Lysol, really, Tiana? What 99 cent store is by you that I can get some? Because um, I'm going to need some more. You know, I got a, a newborn baby in here. But let's get, let's, let's get our, um, let's keep our numbers down and our community. And let's just be safe and do what, what it is that we need to do to be safe for um, the season that we're about to embark on because um, we, we just don't know. Tomorrow is not promised to anyone. So, um, yeah. Also, did you guys complete your census? Did you complete your census form? We need to make sure that we do that. Oh, my God. Hey, how are you? Shaniqua, how's everything? Pray and hope all is well with you, beautiful. Pray and hope all is well with you this season. New York City going to lock down because of these damn people in Crown Heights. At the Listen, them penguin people. I told you, in Y'all know who them penguin people are. The uh, the people who we see that wear black and white and they don't want to wear a mask. And they're all over. And yeah, Williamsburg, they're in Crown Heights. Yeah, they're all over the place and they don't like to wear their mask. We, we need to uh, scream at them a little bit more. Put your damn mask on. I mean, it's important because it's COVID out here and COVID is real. And they're the ones that's really spreading this shit like wildflies. A foul fly up oh, wildflies. And it's coming here into our communities. And they're on the train. And we get on a train. If we got to go to the doctor, we got to go to work. Shit is crazy. So, um, yeah, it's it's be please be prepared. Um, be prepared. I, I heard a study that COVID uh, can last on. I think metal and and um, metal and something else for about 24 hours. So be careful about what you touch. Make sure you have your sanitizer, like I do. Have your sanitizer handy. Always sanitize as much as you can. I've always done it. Whether you, um, as Vic says, he doesn't sanitize. He lysols his hands. Whichever way you want to do it, make sure that you do it. We just need to be healthy out here. I want to be able to see you guys um, for another season. Um, I don't want to visit you. I want. I don't want to view you. I want to see you. That is a difference. I want to make sure I, you know, definitely want to do that. Um, oh, my goodness. For some reason, just got on here for you. Thank you so much, Roxy. I appreciate you. Vic, you know, listen, you Lysol your hands. You say you don't sanitize. 
you Lysol. Listen, for you guys that are up here now, every other Sunday, not this Sunday, but on 1025 at 7 p.m., hand me you her podcast. You can check them out. I am on that podcast and it is an amazing experience. We talk shit, hella shit. We get mad at each other all the time, but it's real conversations with real people. And that's what Him, Me, You, Her is about. And I can't not shout them out enough. I will definitely put that up there as much as I possibly can. Also, people need to stop looking for the brand name and look at the 3M and the inside products that are always stock in Home Depot. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I told you I have home I have home home line brands here right now. I get the store brand names. Listen, I'm not looking just for you know Lysol, but if that's what Family Dollar has, that's what I get. If they have the home line brand, I get the home line brand. But yes, I am loving the camera and the lighting. You know what? Coming from you, Ian, because you are a photographer extraordinaire. I thank you so much. And it's just my ring light. And my Samsung Galaxy S10 phone that I am using. And it is amazing. The clarity, it is amazing. So I thank you guys. I thank you. I thank you for that. I'm doing big things. I'm also working on another movie called In Vain. Shout out to Ray Lute and Lute Films. He has a, a web series called Force to Sin. And I will be on location next week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday um, in the morning. I'll be back, Vic. Don't worry, Mo, Tay. I'll be back for our, um, hit me, you, her. I'll be back for 7 o'clock, even if I got to get dressed there. I will be back definitely for that. Um, I am filming my second movie. It's called In Vain. It is a vampire movie. It should be out uh, in uh, sometime 2021, but I'll definitely let you know. When it is done and it is complete, and then I'll be my second movie under my belt. Also, um, thank you, Miss Sheila. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Listen, ain't, Galaxy is everything. I tell you, uh, listen, Galaxy is my world. I am a Galaxy. I'm a droid girl. I don't care what anyone says about Galaxy. Y'all see the clarity on this picture here? That is from my Galaxy. Yes. Mm hmm Yes. I don't know who is calling me right now, but I cannot talk to them. Sorry. They gonna have to leave a message. Um, you're always the beautiful black queen, sis. Thank you, bro. Oh my God. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you. Yes, Dubsy. Galaxy Life. Galaxy. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Galaxy is it. Galaxy is it. That is my life. That's what I do. Dope. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. I don't know who is this calling me. Um, but hopefully they can, um, text me afterwards. Um, Chinova, I got on a shirt. You see this? Hey, I just shouted you out, sis. I did. I did. I shouted you out. Um, uh, my 846 shirt, this, uh, you know, I shouldn't be dancing with the shirt on, <laughs> but I shouted you out, sis. This shirt is, you know, yes. I'm a galaxy girl. Sister, we gotta be. Always. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Shamel, how are you? How's your mother? Pray and hope all is well with your mom, Shamel. Please give her my love. Um, is she home? Um, keeping you in my prayers. Pray all hoping pray and hope all is well with your grandmother. I am uh keeping you guys in prayer, definitely. Yeah, Samsung is everything. I don't care what anybody says, but Samsung is the truth. As you can see, um, you uh, iPhone users, you see my clarity? Yeah, I'm looking at it myself, and it looks amazing. Yes, yes, yes. She's still in the hospital. She's on a ventilator. Oh, dear God. Shalom, I'm keeping her in prayer. Please keep my um, my brother, um, was my coworker, my old coworker. Um, his mom is um, in the hospital we're definitely going to keep her in prayer. What am I drinking? I'm not drinking tea or tequila. This is Coquito, one of my clients made. She brought it over to me so I can have it. And it is pretty good. It's pretty good. Absolutely. So Coquito today, um, you're welcome, Shamel. Hey, Erica. How are you, Erica? 
Is it? <laughs> it is crispy. Laughing out loud. I'm telling you, Vic, this right here, it's 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 doing some things. It's dope. Later, see you later. See you later, sis. Pray and hope all is well. Yes, yes. Blessings to everybody who tunes in. I thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm not gonna be before you long, like I said. I did. I just wanted to come up here and just talk to you guys for a minute, and um, let you know what I was doing, and hope you're doing great as well. Um, I have a client in the morning, so I can't drink too too much. But um, yes, everybody's praying for you, Shamel. Praying, hope your mom is doing is is pulling through. She's going to pull through. We know this because we know who God is. Um, definitely. Um. See, what other things that I wanted to talk to you guys about? Because you guys are not talking back to me. So I asked how you guys were doing um, since I've last seen you guys in March. Um, the loss of family and friends have been devastating to us, definitely. And has anyone... Um, shout out to the Black Liquor Store. Yes! I have to. Yes. So there is a store that I frequent a lot called Happy Cork. It is a black-owned liquor store. It is on 51 Buffalo between Atlantic and Herkima, I believe. And it's black-owned. It's called Happy Cork. Um, they sell 85% of their liquor, wines, and spirits is black-owned. So I've had Esavir, which is Three Sisters from Queens, their wine. Um, and they also came out with the Moscato. I had MJB Goddess. It is amazing. Um, there's also, um, a South African Moscato called Obiqua. That is also amazing. I've tried that. And, uh, there's uh, the McBride sisters. Yes. Black girl magic. They have, they're called the McBride sisters and their wine is a Riesling wine and it's called black girl magic. It is really good. So you guys need to thank you, Ian, for letting me know. Thank you, Erica. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's called Happy Cork, Fine Wines and Spirits. It's 51 Buffalo Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, 11233. And this is the location here. You guys can, um, can we get the cast of Force to Sin or In Vain on the show? Absolutely. We can do something. I'll be with um, Ray next week, Friday, Saturday, and maybe Sunday, depending on if we don't finish filming everything Friday night. But I'm definitely, i uh, see if I can get Ray up here. And um, his son, actually, Ray Rave, he does some music. I'm supposed to be doing music, doing makeup for his video shoot soon. So absolutely. I guess I'm going to talk about voting as well, D, um, because I have another show before we actually go out and vote. But yes, people, you know you can cast your votes early if you choose to. If you don't, make sure November 3rd you are out there, whether it's raining, it's, it's snowing, it's cold, it's windy. Make sure you go out there and you vote. It's very important to us that we go out there and we show support. No matter who it is that you decide that you want to vote for, listen, we don't have much options. So the options we do have, let's just use it and let's just vote. So definitely, let's vote, vote, vote. Good point, sis. Let's vote. Ian, I'm going to see if I can get um, somebody on there. Looking forward to your next show, Toya. I'm very proud of you. And your success. Uncle Ruben, I appreciate you. I thank you so much for the love and the support that you've shown me. That you've always given me from day one. From Salvation Army days. Uncle Ruben, I appreciate you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll be in touch soon. Definitely. You know how we do. We check in on each other as much as we possibly can. I'll give Pop my love, please. And thank you. And um, yes, October 24th, next Saturday. Vote early. Okay, October 24th. Next Saturday, you can vote early. So that is a good note to know. We need to get out there and cast our vote, whether you go early or you go on November 3rd. Um, my mom did ask me if I wanted to go vote early, but I'm going to ask her if she wants to do it. If she, Because we normally vote together. And if she wants to do it early, I'll go with her and we can do it early. If not November 3rd, I'll be right out there and I'm going to cast my vote like I always do. Um, that is a must and it is important that we do that. Um, definitely. Let's see what else, what other information that I can give you guys while we're here now. Um, yeah, talk to me guys. What is going on? What's going on? What's going on? Um, <laughs> yes, Miss Gwen, vote, vote. Everybody go out there and vote. That is, I think the main topic. This shit is 
<laughs> really good. Damn. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to represent my Wonder Woman glass. I know how I do. Stand in line for our seniors who can't stand long. No, that's right. Absolutely. Definitely. Definitely. Make sure that we support our seniors. Make sure that we do what we're supposed to do for our seniors. Because, I mean, if not us, then who? Let's be real. If we don't stand in for our seniors, then who will stand in for our seniors? So definitely that's something that we really need to do. We need to really bring a chair, bring snacks, bring music, whatever. Just vote. Absolutely, Roxanne. I do agree with that. Like, just get little snack bags, like she said. Put crackers. Let's get some Cheez-Its, the box of Cheez-Its, and some water, and and let's do that. Um, bring my baby out here. My granddaughter. I want y'all to see my granddaughter. Uh-oh. She's coming. She went to sleep. She's sleep. All right. Well, maybe next time. And I bet you she'll wake up as soon as I log off of this. She'll definitely wake up. So listen, guys. Um, I'm going to be on <laughs> line at 6 a.m. I bet you are, Erica. I will, too. I, think I'm, I don't think I'm going to be there that early. I'll probably get there about 7. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I know what you meant, Erica. It's fine. She's going to be online at 6 a.m. I think I'm going to get there at 7 just to make sure that I got everything together because I don't want to be there and I still have to wait, even though I know it'll probably be a wait, but I don't mind. And like Roxanne says, I'm going to bring a chair. I'm going to bring some snacks. I'm going to bring my speaker just to have some music in my ears dancing and just keep the energy flowing because we need to um, do that. Definitely. So listen, guys, since my granddaughter is asleep, and I did ask my uh, my neighbors to turn down the music for me. <laughs> um, we're going to do that. Um, peace, peace, Dr. Jackie. The Yes, Dr. Jackie, the street doctor. That is Dr. Jackie right there. Peace, queen, how are you? Dollar Tree have some small treats. They do? Okay, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and get some treats. We need to show on how to pivot and create the side hustle to supplement or break free from debt. You know what? You speaking some truth there, Ian. Definitely. I think I'm going to have um, uh, uh, Elder Hayward up here again because he was real instrumental when we had the generational wealth piece. He was very informative. So I think I'm going to invite him back. Um, hopefully things are great. We can do that. And um, definitely, definitely, we need to get some topics. I need you guys to give me the love and give me some topics. Hey, Whitney, how are you? Love the whole setup. Thank you so much, Dr. Wilson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I Listen, I am trying my best to do what I can do, but give you quality. I have to do quality. Quality is the main thing for me. Clarity and quality is it. And um I, you know, took my time to make sure that everything was set up for you guys and for myself. And this is what we're going to do. So I'm doing my best. Definitely. And Dr. Jackie, we got to do uh, talking with Dr. Jackie after dark because um, we still ain't get to that yet. So Dr. Jackie is a good friend of mine. She has an organization called Surprise the Struggling. Uh, she offers assistance to uh, men and women in need that are in shelters or it's just um, less fortunate than others and just need a little support. Not even less fortunate, just need a little extra support. She has a great organization as a nonprofit. You can look it up. Surprise are struggling. Um, Dr. Jacqueline Wilson, she's a dope sister. Um, and she is like, great. He was the best. Yes, he was awesome on the show. You're absolutely right, Ian. I'm definitely going to re reach out to him. Hey, Jay, how are you? Pray and hope all is well. That's all we can do is do our best. Listen, that's all we can do is do our best. At these times, Erica, you're absolutely right. Doing our best is what we can do. Because if you don't do your best, then it's like, what's the point? What are you actually doing out here? It's so much going on in our communities that it's disintegrating. You know, I'm tired of the Citizens app going off and you're hearing gunshots or this happening, that happening. Hi, Miss Lenora. How are you, Miss Lenora? How are you, Queen? Praying hope all is well with you and your family. 
So definitely do our best, do what we can do, support each other. That's something that we don't do. We do not support each other the way that we should. And um, I think that is something that we need to do. We need to rotate our resources within our community. That's something that we don't do. I mean, we really need to get in contact um, with each other um, and to do that and just keep the money going within the community. If other people, other nationalities can do it, why can't we? Oh, hey, how are you, sis? Pray and hope all is well. How's your family doing? Well, I'm nice to see. Nice to see. Listen, it is nice to see. Absolutely. It's nice to see you as well because I'd rather be seen than viewed. Um, definitely. Bean, how are you, queen? Pray and hope all is well, sis. Pray your family is doing well. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. So I am going to um, log off in a few minutes, guys, because... Um, I didn't want to be before you too long. I just wanted to be here just to give you uh, insight of what I was doing and what's to come. I will do my best. Um, oh my God. Hey, Miss Denise, how are you? Praying hope all is well. I wanted to come before you because I have not been here since March and it's been seven months since I've done Tea or Tequila Conversations with Toya. And when you have uh, people chiming in asking what you have been doing and and house everything we really need to get together and just talk have general conversations because that's something that we don't do as a people we do not have conversations the way we should have conversations did i start back did i start back what elaborate on what you're talking about miss lenore i'm not sure good evening beautiful i totally agree good evening miss ingrid how's sean how's your mom how's your daughter and your grandson doing how's your family praying hope all is well with you definitely um yeah um i don't know what you're talking about miss lenore did i start back i don't know what i'm starting back um you could just type in what i'm starting back i'm not sure if it's work no they released me from my job and i started my own business um did i start back doing nails yes Tia Tequila, yes, I'm starting Tia Tequila. This is the first show back. I will be on every other Friday. I want to have a variety of guests come on and just talk about, you know, conversations, whatever we need to talk about, whether if it's a tea conversation or a tequila conversation, or if it's a tea with some tequila conversation. I just want to have these good conversations with, um, with my family and my friends and um, just take it one day at a time and... Uh, you know, do what we do right here. So yes, thank God everyone is good being praying for you guys. You know, I hope to see you soon, sis. This is really different for us right now. Mm. It's a good drink. Um, so listen, guys, if no one else is going to chime in, my 20 viewers that are on here, 22 viewers that are on here, I thank you so much. No, no, no. Yes, I, I saw. She did say Tia Tequila. Yes, I did. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Ian. It is Tia Tequila. It is time. Ian, I know I don't need any more bracelets, but you keep putting up new beads and it's like teasing me. So I don't want to block you off of Facebook or Instagram <laughs> because I love you so much. But Ian, oh my God, I still want my Wonder Woman bracelet. We, I haven't forgot about that. Even if we can't find the WW. A charm, I still want the colors, so let's still work on that. Um, hey, Nicole, we're just talking about regular general conversation. Um, how you've been doing these seven months since I've last seen you guys? Um, how's everyone been doing? Um, no, we lost family and friends. Um, some people lost their employment, like I did. Well, I was released from our employment, and have we tapped into our gifts and talents? So we're just talking about a variety of things that has happened within these seven months. And are you preparing or have you been prepared or are you prepared for the next wave if there should be another wave of COVID? So that's what we're basically talking about, Nicole. Um, a little bit of everything and going out and voting. Did you do your census? So it's been a little overall topic about everything that has happened within the seven months. And um, so that's what we've been talking about. 
Wait till you see what I'm posting next. Oh my God, yes, release because your gifts will make room for you. Absolutely. Oh my God, Jason, I just shouted you out. I hope you know that. Jason, Jason Haywood is up here. This is the elder that I was telling you guys about, brother of mine, who is very, very, very informative when it comes down to generational wealth. And he is just a brother that you just need to talk to. I want to have you back. Pray and hope all is well with you and the family. Baby Willow is doing great. She sleep now. She was up the whole time and now she is sleep. Yes, you see that Ian? Jason is up here. We were just talking about him. He's going to live a, 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 a long time, a very long time. Jason, praying hope all is well with you and your family. Um, I got to have you guys up here. Let me tell you, his children, every day since COVID, they were, I don't know how they were randomly picking out names. I don't know what they did, but they were praying for individuals and their families. And to see these little people actually doing this was awesome. Like I was in awe. Every time I would see them pull out a name and say, that they're um, praying for someone. Amazing, amazing job you and Vanessa are doing, Jason, with your children. Definitely. Are you still, are you all self-policing um, in Brownsville? Listen, I don't know what's going on out here. I'm in my house. It's a lot going on out here in Brownsville. Um, so I have no idea, Jason. Um, is there any, any way you can do a split screen with Jason? Um, I'm sure I can if Jason's willing to come on. I probably can do a split screen with Jason. Um, I don't know. I would have to invite him. I would have to get up out my seat and go to my camera because that's what's um, filming right now. But that's totally up to him. I mean, if not, then we can wait until the 20, the 30th when I come back on the 30th and we can plan or have him plan for the, the next uh, time we're on in November. If Jason agrees to it, we can do that just in the spirit of COVID. So we, you know, we can be safe. Has anybody done a COVID test? That's a question I need to ask because I know I do it. I do it every two weeks. And how do you feel about getting the COVID test? I do it because I'm around a lot of different people. I'm on different movie sets. I have clients that come to me. I have a newborn baby in here. Um, so have you guys been tested um, for COVID and have you been taking the test? It is a free test. It is a little bit uncomfortable, but it is necessary. So how do you guys feel about that? Yes, twice. Vanessa said yes. Me every two weeks for work. Definitely, Nicole. I do it every two weeks. I don't understand why people are not utilizing the services that are given to us. These are free services. You don't have to give them your social security card. You don't have to uh, give them your insurance card. You just go in there and you take the test. Love the George Floyd... Thank you, Grandma Dana. How are you, Grandma Diva? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, in honor of George, um, Brother George Floyd, I wanted to wear this shirt. This was given to me. Um, Miss Lenore, take it. I'm telling you, it is no more than like maybe three seconds. Um, you did it yesterday, Tara? Yes, you have to do it. You said yes three times. Yes, I go every two weeks. I've been going for the last two months. Um, there is a um, site uh, right not too far from my house. It's about two blocks. And I go get it done. And it's never crowded, which is, um, it, it, it really bothers me that it's never crowded. Like, you need to know your status. You need to know it. You need to make sure that you're good because it's so much. I go to different places. You know, I was just in Manhattan not so long ago with so many different people on the train. You just want to make sure that you're good. You definitely want to make sure that you are good. So please... I know it, it may seem like so cliche to do it, but I think everyone should do it because it is important to actually do it. Um, yes, traveling from DC, we all had to get tested. Definitely. How's Isaiah? Isaiah's like, oh my God, her grandson can sing his little behind off. I cannot wait to see his name in somebody's lights or in somebody's album cover. And I'm like, oh, I knew that young man. He was one of my students. It's an amazing voice. And her son, always oh, shout him out, uh, J Flex Eyewear. Uh, he has his own eyeglass boutique. He is all of, I think, 10 years old now. 10-year-old um, entrepreneur, if I'm not mistaken. Um, his He's located on Elton, a pharmacy on Elton off of Flatlands. Over there, He um, his mom, wonderful sister, 
She has a Diva Specs. You know I love me some good specs. And they sell all types of eyewear that you can get. Black-owned company. Come on now. We got to support our own. We have to. If we don't support our own, who will? Um, I keep saying that, but I mean it. Mm-hmm. I definitely mean it. So, is she up yet? She ain't going to get up until it's time for me to get off. Unbelievable. I keep sanitizing my hands. My hands are sticky. Maybe I need to wash my hands. I don't know. And I damn sure I'm not going to lice on my hands like my brother um, Vic does. Definitely not going to do that. Thanks for the shout out. Yes. He's 10. Oh, you're very welcome, sis. Listen, anytime I can shout out a black owned business, I'm definitely going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it. I'm going to support who I can support. I didn't forget about you, Dana. I have on all oh, between Vandalia and Schroeder's. It's on Elton between Vandalia and Schroeder's. That is a pharmacy, but you can go right in. You, oh, you're very welcome. I didn't forget about you. I have to go over and see you because I know you have some specs for me. Um, definitely got to go over there and see you and support you and your son's business because if we don't, who will? Um, yeah, I think that's it. You're very welcome. I think that's it for me, guys. I didn't want to be up here too long. I mean, I have a few more minutes. I can be up here until 845 because I just wanted to do an hour because I did ask my um, neighbors to turn down the music. Then I told them after that, they can turn it up. So I don't want them to think that, you know. I'm going to knock on their door and they probably going to give me a Corona or something because that's what they do. They always want to feed me. Always, always, always want to feed me. <laughs> Listen, you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for showing me this love. Thank you for being here with me for this hour. Well, less than an hour. Um, good 40, 50 minutes. I truly appreciate you guys. Um, Yes, www.jflexeyewear.com. It is up here. His mom just put it up. You guys can check them out. Glasses are on point at a reasonable price. Um, definitely doing big things right in the heart of East New York. Um, we definitely have to support our own. I pray and hope all is well this Friday evening with everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. Be blessed. Don't let anyone steal your joy. Um, continue to do what you do and just know that you are loved regardless if no one else tells you that. I love you. And um, like I said, uh, by the way, you look fabulous. Love the hair color. Thank you so much, Queen. I appreciate that. That's something that we need to do more often. We need to compliment each other. We need to because tomorrow is not promised. And like I said, I'd rather see you than to view you. Because right now, it's so much going on in the world. And tomorrow is not promised. Listen, you guys have a blessed weekend. And have a better week. If your week wasn't great, have a better week next week. Enjoy your Saturday. I know it's a gloomy Friday night. But you know what? After the rain, there's always a rainbow. So listen, peace and blessings to you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend. And like I said, don't let anyone steal your joy. Peace and blessings, family. This is your girl, Toya. See you at Tequila Conversations with Toya. And I hope to see you in two weeks. Um, don't forget, 1025 at 7 p.m. Uh, Hit Me, You, Her podcast. I am on that. And 1030 at 745, Tia Tequila Conversations with Toya. Peace and blessings to you guys. And have a blessed weekend. Peace out.